Welcome back, my friends. What we're going to be making today is uh, grilled eggplant pasta. So the eggplant, you don't have to grill it. You can either do it, use it as is, you can grill it, or you can fry it. And uh, of course, fry tastes the best, but it's a little bit fattening and a little bit greasy. I really like it a lot. It's my favorite dish. But this time we're going to make it a healthy version. So what we're going to be doing, which is the ingredients are very simple, garlic, basil, parsley, eggplant, olive oil, and tomato sauce. So what we're going to be doing is cut this, uh, the first part of the eggplant like this, and then we're going to cut somewhat of thick slices like this. And the eggplant here in Italy, they're very good. Uh, if in America they don't taste too good or they're too sour, too bitter, you can put them, you can put a little bit of salt on top and then you put, let them drain a little bit. I don't think it's necessary, especially if you grill them. So, nice. So we have this uh, grill here. You don't have to turn on the barbecue. So we just put them like this. One, two, three, and then we add these like this and like that. Ta-da! And meanwhile, the water is boiling for the pasta. We're going to let them grill, and then we're going to continue with the rest. Now we're going to take the basil. We're not going to use the knife, because if you cut the knife with a metal uh, blade it starts oxidizing. So uh, we're just gonna use it, use our own hands. We rip it off like this, and we're gonna put it in chunks like this in the sauce. Then we're just gonna cut the garlic just in few pieces like this. So if you want, you can take it out of the sauce when you're done. We're gonna put it in here. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil. As usual, about four tablespoons and we let the garlic saute. We're gonna flip the eggplant around after three or four minutes. Let them cook for another three or four minutes and then they're ready. Chopping a little bit of parsley. Now that the eggplant is ready, we're going to pile it up like this. Now we're going to cut it just in four pieces or three pieces, maybe three pieces like this. Then we're going to put it in this bowl. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil. And then we're gonna add the parsley. And then pinch salt. And then we're gonna mix it together. This is nice and flavored. Well, we're gonna do that, then we're gonna add it in the side the tomato sauce. Now the garlic is sauteing, oil is nice and hot, we're gonna add 
the eggplant and you let this all the parsley that's in there you let this saute I don't know if it's fried but this gentle saute of oh, the smell just uh, sorry my mouth is watering so this uh, this gentle saute or light fry just uh, brings it even more flavorful. We just do this for uh, a minute or so, and then we're gonna add the tomato. But just like this alone, good enough. If you like sauce, tomato sauce, or gravy, uh, you can add tomato sauce. For this saute, what we're gonna be adding is this, homemade tomato sauce. Sorry, you can't get that in America, so you settle with uh, crushed tomatoes. So we're adding this in there, just a small amount, not too saucy. And then uh, after this, we're gonna add the freshly cut basil, just to give it a little flavor. What we're gonna be doing here, we're just gonna let it cook just a tiny bit. Not a lot of, um, of, uh, of cooking time because the sauce is already pre-cooked. The tomato, the crushed tomatoes are already pre-cooked. So we just let it cook for a couple of minutes maybe. And then all we do have to do is toss in the pasta. Pecorino. Top it with a little bit of pecorino. How is it, Nora? Very good. I love um, eggplant. Okay, yeah, it's eggplant. <laughs>